So the holiday makers were here yesterday. Yesterday, uh, St. Patrick's Day, uh, as uh, non-Irish must apparently refer to it is as uh, St. Patrick's Day, but the Irish are allowed to say it's Paddy's Day. Ha oh, ha, oh, that's a bit of a standing joke with me because I was told one day when I asked somebody what did you do for Paddy's Day, he tells me you can't say Paddy's Day, that's only for the Irish to say Paddy's Day. Anyway, um, you saw me trying to show you the numbers on that. Um, now that could, those numbers could be Euro coins and uh, they could also be bottle tops because look at that but, but that's not the point I'm trying to make a point that I'm gonna dig what's in that hole there uh, in the hope that they've left me uh, they've left me a, a few coins there for my hard work but actually what I want to do while I've come down here to be on a deserted beach with the sun still in the sky I want uh, to show you I've got a little bag of Euro coins yeah I forgot a, an old tag in there from I keep the coins to do the round of the wrap ups so in li little bags like this so when I do three days worth of wrap ups then I can oops they've fallen out whoops so now I'm gonna really have to detect for them so the point is uh, Merrill has done a series um, of the numbers, Merrill, him of metal detecting NYC, the numbers for all the US coins, and then his latest one that he's done is all the other bits and pieces gold, silver, pool tabs, all of that. Uh, I'm going to, over here somewhere in the sunlight, lay out one of each of the euro coin denominations. All coins either found. Uh, street locking or mud locking or any form of locking or dug out they well mostly are dug out i think the, the one one cent piece you might have uh, seen me refer to in uh, one of the shorts i did about the ducklings so uh, the dog charging one that one i'll put a link in or a card in you know where the cards go right there so i'm going to stop prattling i'm going to dig what's in there i'll show you what's in there I'll pick up that bottle cap down by my toe. There's one of the coins, and then I think more than one fell out. There's a second one. There could be a third one in there. I'll find them too. No, there's one, two. That's the that was the the one cent piece I was referring to. There it lies. That was the one cent piece that uh, I found lying uh, with a name. I think that's where the first mention of uh, rain soakers comes from. That was a rain soaker. Uh, there's another coin and another coin there's uh, another coin that's a 20 cent piece that came out of the water somewhere so I'm gonna hunt around here make sure I've got all the coins so that I can do the full series in the meantime I will stop prattling dig there I presume it's only going to be bottle tops and uh, then show you the results of my quick assessment of what the euro coins are in at right so there i say it again right so okay wrong so i was totally wrong so uh, my guess that it could be a coin in the hope that it could be a coin look there there's nothing left in there no it wasn't a coin it was not a bottle cap it was guess what one of those things can fresh can and look at the numbers they do jump around a bit because i have a funny feeling there is still some uh, liquid in that can. So, I'm going to pick that up after jumping upon it so it fits into my scat bucket a little bit better. We can do that right now. Then I'm going to stop talking porkies, pick up the can, shake it out, put it in the scat bucket, and not on top of my gloves, and mosey onwards. But isn't this a bit of a glorious sight, isn't it? Sunshine. Sunshine in the lovely bits of island. Okay, so with the sound of the sea right here to our about two meters, three, four meters to our left hand side. There's the one cent piece. 
2 cent piece, 5 cent piece, or if I said 3 cent piece, if it was a 3 cent piece, you would have known I was forging something somewhere along the line. And there's the 10 cent piece, the 20, as I've said, these all come out of the sea or out of the sand, these all look like sea deposits or sea out of cracks and terraces. There's the 1 euro coin, that is out of the soil. The 2 euro coin I have attempted to do. Right, so here's all the coins. Uh, I'm going to swing the detector over for the coins as I go along and I will not try and focus on numbers. I will just try and do the readout for you. Okay, so we're going to start with the 1 cent piece. But jumpy. Maybe there's something else around there. Bit jumpy, but it's because it is an iron-clad copper, copper-clad iron coin. Same here. 2439, 90s, even into the 90s. Same here. 31, 27th iron mineralization. Okay, the 10 cent piece should ring more solid. Also jumps around a little bit, and then the 20 cent piece, 65, 66, 67, and the water is almost all this. 50 cent piece, 70s, 70s mostly. The one euro coin, 65, 67s, and the two euro coin, 59. Strange numbers for a two euro coin, but maybe because I've filmed it. Right, so those are the numbers for the coins. I'll do it once more, see if we can fit in the, the sun and the VDI numbers. Look at that, those numbers, 58, 59. 67, constant. 70s, constant on the 50 cent. 20 cent piece, 66, 67. 10 cent piece, 63. 5 cent piece all over as you can see there now these are not corroded coins the 1, the 2 and the 5 cent they are not corroded I have got a few corroded coins here which I will show you but first let me gather up those coins oh and I must say I ground bal balanced here in the wet area and I ground balanced to uh, 3.4 or something like that. I didn't go down to zero because I'm thinking of doing uh, a comparison to the very dry sand ground balancing there and seeing what the ground balance turns to and then we can try the trick again okay. That's a piece of a one cent piece. Uh, I usually throw them away so I do hunt for to get one. That's a nice and corroded crusty two cent piece and here is a five cent piece that's uh, much the same way uh, so let's check their numbers okay one cent piece first pretty solid 69s with mineralization 60s 94s 90s okay so jumpy but not as jumpy as what i expected there we go, 92s, 91s, 93s, but 70s, look at that, you'll see mineralization, and when you see the mineralization of those numbers, then you know, then you expect to find this kind of thing, look at that, too much mud on that one, battling with it already, so let's see if we flip it around, if we get anything better, Right, you see there? Now when those things are buried three or four inches down, you have all sorts of fun with them, don't you? Well, I do. I curse every time I have to do one of those. Okay, I'll pick those up and then uh, we'll just metal the text further. But in any case, after showing you all the coin comparisons, Uh, 
And as soon as I bring the phone near it, it brings in mineralization. But I do think it's probably some bit of boat scat. Look at the numbers jump. Nails, whatever it is, but I'm going to dig it. Because it's along these verges that I often find a hole with coins and trash. So let's see what's in that spot there where I mark the X. Okay, I've dug it on, onto the clay base there. Um, so he has everything, nothing there, nothing there, nothing. I had to flatten this to get a signal. There we go, mineralization again as soon as I use the phone. When I haven't got the phone near me, then the numbers drop off. Anyway, I'm going to see what we find in there. But it's most likely nails or something, even although those numbers suggest good stuff. But I don't trust my interpretation of the good stuff numbers anymore. I've been wrong too often lately. Now there's a big chunk of metal lying there. There we go. Bit of boat. Well, it's not big, but it's a bit of boat. We'll just check to see if there's anything else around here. But no, I think that bit of boat made me create this crater just to get that bit of boat off the beach. But it's gone now. Can't cut my grandchildren's feet. That one, because it's going to the bin. Right, I'm going to go there towards the stream. There where you see the two wooded crows. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. There's the wooded crows walking around there. There goes one in the sunlight. You might see him there, yeah. Uh, let's see if we can find anything else in that environment. Okay. Just in case you were wondering, it's still beautiful. Yeah, Try and hold the phone as far away as possible. Here's the stream. I am here again. Uh, I just love the sound of the. You got the sea, and you got a little bit of river running here, the stream running. But I also love the sound of this machine. So I want to show you two different things here. In this little tribulet, tri 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 whatever that you want to call it. Look at those numbers there. They definitely perform better without a phone so close to them. But here, there's 59, 60, 63, and they were more stable before I pulled the phone out. So, I'm going to dig here, listen to that now. That's 98, 97, no mineralization. And then with the phone a bit further away, there's those numbers, 62, 55, 59. So let me see, two arrows down, what that is, and then the 98 one. This is a bit of a wow, look at that. Can you see that? Look at them. There's two of them in there. An Irish decimal, first issue decimals, the bigger ones. This one looks like a half penny, Irish, uh, UK half penny. They just have a look about them when they come out. Looks like, so pardon the people coming walking by. That looks like a UK coin. You can see the lettering around the side, or signs of lettering. So there we go, there's two coins in that hole that was reading in the 50s and the 60s. Holes. These holes here below my feet, out of that hole the two coins came, nothing else came out of there. I dug and I dug and eventually I dug out that piece of iron out of the second hole. There you go. Put a boat. And then I moved slightly further down. Picked up mixed conflicting signals. You can see how much digging I've done and how many rocks I've moved. So yeah, I took out all those bits and pieces of metal. But I also took out two more Irish coins. Now, I have a strong suspicion that they're both 5Ps. The bigger one, the back, was the new decimal 5P when they were first issued, first series. And the second series is when they were made smaller. There you go. So I have, in total so far, four Irish coins for the day. And a lot of other tat and scat. But I'm still having fun here by that brookling brook or the bubbling brook, call it what you want to. And to think there lies the jacket. 
I was sitting there the other day cluttering my teeth together. Um, we're still going to have quite a bit of sun there. And if, it, if you look at the sun's trajectory, I'm still going to be sitting here in the sun till at least uh, five, half past five. It's gone ten past four now. And that's about time for me to go home. So I'm going to keep hunting here and keep having fun. And I'm going to say to you, keep watching. And if this gets a bit long, then I think this is a good point for an intermission. Hit the pause button and uh, go get yourself a fresh brew and come jogging back. Hit the play button. Yeah, yeah, on my channel, on this video, not somebody else's channel, not somebody else's video. And then you'll continue watching. But possibly this won't be too long, so you just can carry on watching now. I've got to pause because we're going to have visitors in our path. Well, I don't think you need an intermission. I think you can just carry on running this. Um, I was planning on uh, prattling on for much longer, or was I? But then people came. I mentioned somebody, I paused there for somebody to come by. And uh, then they come and plonk themselves down right there in the sunshine. Uh, that's their right. They can do what they want to. It's a free country. Well, it was a free country at some point. Uh, freedom of movement within your five I'll, I'll shut up now all right so I thought uh, instead of doing uh, a whole long rigmarole prattle on and blah de blah I'll show you the coins and I'll show you the finds and there you have them some beach glass thrown in so there are the four coins that came out of the those holes there next to the stream the beach glass I've been picking up as I've been walking along uh, this one cent Euro one cent was found in the car park earlier on under roof so it can't be a rain soaker um, it can't be a sun whatevering uh, it, so it's a neon gatherer I suppose because there it was lying in the under story under roof car park okay I'm going to stop rattling but before just before I do that I'll say as for always stay safe Stay free and be happy and of course always be good or be good at it. Bye! There's the stairs. I uh, just kept swinging as I walked along because I'm waiting for the good lady to find me to come and say when she's going to come and collect me and I was swinging and swinging and swinging there's a hole. And now this for a footing addendum. Out of that hole came a uh, Cruddy two cent euro coin. Uh, yes, you've seen enough of them and how they ring. This one was ringing in the 90s, but there's no realization. So there you have it. A cruddy two cent coin as the target and the topic of our addendum for today's video. Okay, I'm going to say bye bye again. I'll just say it then. Bye-bye again.